<laughs> Alright, welcome. We're back on the server. We're looking for hackers. I found this guy in the wilderness, so we're going to test him for x-ray hacks by getting a little base pissed down in front of him. So what I'm going to do is he's heading this direction at the moment, so what we shall do is, uh, let's say right around here, we're going to just plunk a little base. I worked very hard on this base. I added some realistic signs. Brian's OP loot. Don't touche. Thought it would be more realistic with a spelling mistake. So where's our fella? Is he interested in it? He's up here at the minute and our base is... I have literally no idea. Um, <laughs> there is a spawner down here and then there's a claimed base over here which our little friend seems to be attempting to try and get to. He has found a little hole and he's jumped down into the claim though. So the base looks like it's old. It's been raided before. I am, however, going to use it as an opportunity to put a sly chest just in the wall like that. And obviously, if he mines into that, then we know he's x-raying. But to be honest, my instinct is he's not x-raying. If we check the map, yeah, this place is unclaimed, so he could mine into this if he wanted to. Okay, okay, he's just... Oh, he's left. Yeah, he's gone back to his own base. Whoa, what's happening here? Who's this fella spamming? I hate Jack sucks. No, it's no. And then just a bunch of random letters. So Lancelot, what, what have I done? <laughs> Is there any need? <laughs> I'm out here minding my own business. All right, let's mute him. <laughs> anyway, I think my friend Program, I don't think he's hacking. This is his own base that he's messing around at, at the moment. He didn't mind down to our base bait, so let's just move on and see if we can find another hacker. Okay, this guy comes up quite high on our anti-cheat notification violation log. So you can see he's, uh, he's this fella right here. I reckon that could be just because he's using speed hacks. Although he is looking down quite a bit. I'm going to paste down our base just over here, I think. So we'll paste the base just there. Could this guy be X-Ring? I don't know. Oh, he's, he's TP'd away again. He's doing slash wild far too often. By the time I've got our base pasted down, he's already nicked off. Look, he's already gone. Okay, he's here right now. I'm going <laughs> to... I'm gonna paste the base. Pasted it. Please don't have left. He hasn't left yet. He hasn't left. Okay, the base is just over there if he is x ray He's left. No, he hasn't left. He hasn't left. He hasn't left. Oh, he's moving forwards. I think this guy might be x ray Our base is just down there. Is he looking at it? Kind of, yeah. He is. He's circling it. He's circling the top of it. He's got his shovel. We've got one. All right, this is very obvious x-ray. So like our previous guy, he didn't even go anywhere near the base. This fella's spotted it, and he's mining straight down to it. Here he is. He's straight in the base. So we've 100% got this guy for x-ray. You know what? I think if we hadn't put Brian's OP loot don't touche, I don't think this guy would have mined down. He wouldn't have thought it was worth it. Okay, he's an absolute little psycho, and he's... <laughs> He's placing down TNT and he's going to blow the place to smithereens. That's a bit rude, that. Brian worked hard on that base. Okay, so the question is now, if he's continuing to look for bases, what if we paste the same base down again? Will he mine down to the same base a second time? That's the test. Or will he know that he's being diddled? All right, he's moving over here. Uh, let's paste our base. So we're going to paste it just down there. There it is. You have to do it quick because this guy moves so fast. See, I think I've, I've, I've bloody already missed him. <laughs> I hate this guy. Okay, he's here. Is he going to TP away again? Or is he going to start mining to places? Oh, we're going to have to be a bit more careful because the chat has noticed that I muted that fella. Oh, the hacker himself has just put Jack isn't on. He isn't real. <laughs> Jack is a simulation. I like this fella. I want to see if he'll x-ray our other base. We need to wait for him to teleport away again. Okay, he's here, he's here, he's here. Nope, he's already left. He's left again. <laughs> I am chasing this fella so much. Look how fast he's teleporting around. Right, right, right. Pissed. <sighs> I'm so stressed. He's there. He's on top of it. He's literally on top of it. Is he going to mine down to it or has he worked out that it's the same base? I'm not going to lie. I think I basically pasted it while I was on top of him. He's looking at the base. Don't be so stupid as to mine down. He's looking around. He's left the base so he knows it's a duplicate. You know what? I'm going to game on C. I'm going to go... I did it very, very quickly behind him. So I did come out and vanish in front of him, but he just didn't see because he wasn't looking. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. <laughs> Gets me on edge, you know. All right, how long can I stay out of Vanish for, do you think? I'm still out of Vanish. I'm going to walk a bit closer. A little bit closer. We are so close to him right now. <laughs> we are stood. Oh! I think he saw my legs. Do you see him crap himself? <laughs> I love that reaction, the way he was like this. <laughs> okay, he's making a chest. I assume he's going to make some signs. Let's just break it before he does. Oh, he managed to do it just in time. What's he going to say on the sign? Large bro moment. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to break the sign and we're going to put hurry up and x-ray the base again. Let's just see if he does it, you know what I mean? Oh, he's broke the sign. I just want to know if he's going to plead innocence or if he's going to admit to hacking, you know what I mean? Okay, what's he put on the sign? You want to see a magic trick? Uh, yes. Always. All right, what's he going to go for here? <laughs> okay, three, two, one. I knew he would log out. 
Oh, look, he's come back. He's come back. What's the sign going to say? Look, I turned into a villager. Ha ha. Something like that. You need money, so I'll give you some content. <laughs> Uh, I am struggling at the moment. Thank you for your help. This is great. Normally, I have to faff on and come up with ideas. This guy's just kind of doing it for me. And it's not X-ray, it's chest ESP. I mean, they do the same thing, mate. Chest ESP is a hack that allows you to X-ray through the ground and see chests. I think he's just worried about me thinking that he's some kind of X-ray texture pack noob. And then he's called me a sweaty hamburger lemon man. Oh, now he's X-raying Brian's base. This is good, this. <laughs> All right, should we... We'll undo the base. <laughs> Where did all your armor go? Did you die? He's got- <laughs> Why is he- <laughs> Why is he a Tesco carrier bag? <laughs> oh, he's made another sign. He says, boofed. I think basically how we need to proceed is we need to break this guy's spirit. He's just far too chipper at the minute, you know what I mean? He's jumping about all over the place. He's writing the word boofed on signs. He's just having way too much fun at the moment. And we don't really want to allow that to hack us on our server. So uh, let's take a look through his stuff. Has he got much in his inventory? Oh, look at his e-chest. He has a lot of zombie spawners, so let's just take those zombie spawners. And we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna place them in front of him like this. He looked at them and he's ran away, so if anyone wants five zombie spawners, here are the cords, you're welcome. Oh, hang on, he's making another little sign. While he's doing that, probably be rude not to take the god apples out of his e-chest. <laughs> you will never catch the bag, man. We've already caught you. I've told him that he's already been caught. I'm aware, however, I am speed. Alright, let's give him, uh, let's give him slowness then. We'll give him the effect 100 now. So he currently has slowness 100. If you're curious what that feels like, it feels like this. I'm walking forward right now. <laughs> I guess I have been boofed. <laughs> I like the word boofed. For the next, uh, let's say the next week, the uh, boofed suffix is available at store.skykit.net. So uh, check that out. All right, I'm going to leave him with his slowness 100 for a little bit. And I think we're just going to go ahead and, hey, Slim Shady 2007, do you want a god apple? They're from my friend's e chest. He doesn't mind. He's giving them out. Uh, we'll give this AFK guy some as well. Maybe Sinful Request can have some. Sinful Request. A couple of god apples for you. There you go. Knock yourself out. He loves them. Look at him. He can't get over it. Mark, you want two stacks of TNT from a hacker's inventory? 20 god apples, maybe? Maybe. What else is in the guy's inventory? He's got some stacked armor. 26 name tags. I assume he's got those from x ray spawners. We're just gonna give them all to Mark, I reckon. There you go, Mark. <laughs> Mark, 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 come back. Mark! The spawners, Mark! I mean, name tag, sorry. Whatever, Mark. They'll despawn. Ooh, hang on. So, staff member Jacob has found a guy using anti-knockback, apparently, on Kit PvP. He's called Your Bro 2003 Let's see if we can spot some of that anti-knockback for ourselves. Yeah, it looks like he might have turned it off. It looks like because he's currently fighting a helper, he might have toggled his hacks off. But that doesn't matter because Jacob managed to record evidence himself. So, on screen right now is the evidence of Your Bro 2003 using hacks. So I think what we should do is we should introduce my two new friends to each other. So we're going to send him over to OP Factions. I'm going to see what CV is actually up to right now. And I'm going to bring your bro over as well. There they are. Look at this. Uh, your bro, meet CV. CV, meet your bro. Be nice, guys. Oh, they're being all friendly. <laughs> He put friend question mark. Is the guy going to reply? I'm so excited. He said hi. And the other one said hi. I think we've just built a friendship for life. Two hackers here together. Well, the only logical thing to do at this point is to build them a bench. Guys, 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 sit under this tree. It's going to be unreal. Just move back a bit, will you, mate? And I'm just going to put that there. We'll get some arms on the bench for you. There you are, lads. Take a seat. The sun's setting. It's quite romantic. <laughs> what the hell is happening? <laughs> He's getting a sign. I don't care what the sign says. Build a house together. That'll be quite sweet, that won't it? Don't worry, guys. I'll get you some materials. There's some oak wood. He says, thank you, Jackie. Here's some logs as well, guys, if you want some logs. Wait, guys, guys, guys. I haven't given you the logs yet. Where are they off? <laughs> They're just cracking on. Uh, we'll chuck them some glass as well. I could probably do with that. Ooh, I'm curious what they're going to do with this one. I'm not going to lie. Cobblestone, anyone? Bit of cobblestone for you? Let me change it today so you can see what you're doing, guys. I want you to be able to, you know, I want this house to look good. Let's get them some carpet. Everyone loves a bit of carpet. All right, I'm just going to chuck it behind. <laughs> Okay, so I think the plan is we get them to build a really nice house. They put a lot of love into it and then we explode it. Yeah, that, that should be good. Oh, very nice. Getting some cut. Oh, mate, got a bit ahead of yourself there. It's all right, though. Don't worry about it. Probably get them a, a couple of beds as well if you want a bed. I'll just chuck the beds in the middle. Jukebox, maybe. And you know what? I'll let them pick the song. I'm just going to chuck a range of CDs and they could just crack on with it. <laughs> Right, these two random strangers, they're working together very nicely right now. It's a bit weird, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, we could give them a little pet sheep. 
and then murder the sheep in front of them. That'd be fun. And a dog. Actually, they'd probably get more attached to a wolf, wouldn't they? Let's be honest. So we'll give them all the necessities for a nice wolf. Even a nice orange collar. <laughs> right, I'm going to chuck that there. I'm going to chuck an anvil. I'm going to chuck some bones. And I'm going to chuck a name tag and some orange dye so they can get a little pet wolf. They've requested stall. <laughs> <laughs> I could do that. I could do that. There's style. Look, we need to teach these hackers a lesson, all right? I'm, I want them to get really attached to this wolf, and then we murder it in front of them, and then that should scar them, and then hopefully it'll stop them from hacking in the future. All right, they've got the little wolf. Style is playing right now. Hope everyone's uh, enjoying style. I'm going to turn it off, I think, because it makes it difficult to edit the videos. But it'll still be on for those guys, and that's all that matters. Jack's a discount lemon. I was hoping you'd say, like, Steve or something, mate. But that works. That's that's fine. No, no worries there. <laughs> Look at the glass windows. <laughs> I'm going to chuck a little chicken and a name tag. Your bro 2003. Oh, he got the name tag. I'll chuck you another one, your bro. Go on, name the chicken. Give him a nice little name. Look at him. He's well up for it. <laughs> that's weird. Really, really weird. Oh, my God. He's got the chicken. Has he named the chicken? He's going to go for it. He's got... That's more like it. Those are the hackers that we know and love. So this guy was ready with his other name tag and he went with Technoblade is better. That's fine. What kind of... <laughs> what kind of psychopath builds a pretty little house without questioning it? And then calls his chicken... <laughs> Um, Jacob's found another hacker, so I'll leave these guys to crack on in domestic bliss and we'll see what that hacker's up to. Okay, the guys feel nice and it look yeah, he's got kill aura on. He's also got anti-knockback, so you can see that he's not getting knocked back, he's just dying. Very obvious, uh, so I reckon let's let's introduce him to the lads at this point. Hopefully this fella gets on as well as all of the other guys, so we're gonna send him over to factions now. And I TP him right in front. So it's rare that hackers get on this well with each other, I'll be honest. I'm curious if this third guy is gonna be as up for it as these two. They've opened the door. They're inviting him in. <laughs> Look at him coming out to introduce himself. <laughs> hey! <laughs> How come you accepted your bro 2003 so quickly, but you, you've you got an issue with Feel Nice? Let's bring him back. Feel Nice has done nothing wrong. Your bro just slapped him as well. What's happening? Oh my god. <laughs> He's absolutely rogue. Who the hell are these two? What on earth is happening? I think these guys might have literally just stumbled upon the base randomly. All right, I'm going to go ahead and give Feel Nice 9,000 TNT while this is unfolding. Everyone seems to be being friendly thus far. Okay, I'm going to give Feel Nice a flint and steel, and I'm just going to TP him just over here. All right, Feel Nice, do your stuff. <laughs> Can he do it without them noticing? That's the question here. That is the question. Oh, he's gone for it. He's gone. <laughs> All right, I'm going to give Feel Nice kit fortnightly, so that's a full set of armor, so he'll last a bit longer. It was all going so well. That wasn't even feel nice that did that. That was these two new fellas. They've just suddenly turned on them. This is horrific. Oh my god. <laughs> so TNT doesn't do damage to players on OP factions because that would make raiding difficult. It just does damage to actual structures. <gasps> this guy's being knocked in the lava. Right, this... He's getting in there. Yeah, I'll see you later. It looks like they've managed to take care of that other guy. I'm going to give Feel Nice more TNT, I think. And it looks like everyone's kind of distracted at the moment. So we'll just bring Feel Nice into the thick of things. <laughs> hey, Feel Nice, nice of you to drop by. All right, the forest is, is now on fire. Uh, this guy's kicking off. <laughs> the hacker put hashtag team trees. <laughs> This is the weirdest set of events that has ever unfolded. It looks like they've got rid of that non-hacker. Feel Nice is setting off TNT. Go on, son. Let's keep healing Feel Nice just over and over again so that he doesn't die, you know what I mean? I am honestly so confused. I'm just going to I'm just going to add some TNT up above if that's all right. Uh, I'll just send that off on its on its merry way. There we go. Um, everything all right, guys? Where are you? Feel Nice is over here. Okay, no problem. He's setting off the TNT. <laughs> this, this is bizarre. Really bizarre, that. How much TNT did we light there, by the way? It was only 23,000 bucks. I may have... Oh, Christ almighty. They have caused a little bit of lag with that one, I'm not going to lie. Feel nice, are you all right? He's fine. Yeah, he's doing okay. He's, he's Well, he's, he's he's not doing great, I'll be honest. How's we mate CV, though? Is he doing okay? CV? Well, CV looks to have just continuing teleporting randomly in the wild. Well, I'll bring Feel Nice over. Okay, I'm going to keep healing Feel Nice. I think that Feel Nice has turned his kill aura on. 
Come on, Field Ice. You've got this. You've got this. Come on. You can do it. Get him. Get him. Get him. They both turned on their anti knockback hacks. This is hilarious. Oh, he's running. He's running. He's running. He's got him on the ropes. He's got him on the ropes. All right, at this point, I'm just going to sash kill him myself. Uh, feel nice. There's some stuff there if you want it. Where was the other guy? What was the other guy even called? I've literally no idea. Um, <laughs> what was he called? Don't worry, I'll look back through my chat. It was your bro. Your bro, what are you doing? Feel nice. You can't go back on to Kip PvP. Get back here. <laughs> I love how this guy's just got his... Oh, he's left again. No, come on. Get back over onto factions. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. At this point, let's just get them all slash killed. Your bro's making a little sign, so I'm going to slash kill him and see what it says. Let me parkour. Sorry. Let's say bye to CV, because I like CV. It was quite funny. All right, let's get your bro punished. I think your bro was using anti-knockback, wasn't he? So that's malicious hacks. There he goes. And Feels Nice was using malicious hacks as well. So there he goes. And then our final little friend. He says, hope you get good revenue. Thanks, CV. I appreciate that. As do I. If everyone would like to help out with the YouTube algorithm by clicking that like button, that would be very much appreciated. Oh, he's going to kill himself with the bow. That's perfect. Let me get the punishment ready. There he is. And there he goes. Silent punishment for X-ray. <laughs> and now as we bask among these various corpses behind me... <laughs> I want to say thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, click that like button and that subscribe button because I'm uploading quite a lot of hacker trolling videos at the moment. Come and check out the server, play.skykid.net. We've been playing OP factions, but we've got a lot of different stuff like SMP and Skyblock and all that. These hackers were really, really weird. What on earth happened? <laughs> oh, we could give them a little pet sheep and then murder the sheep in front of them. That'd be fun.